okay, I mean, this has got to be good, right? Like, the benefits of sex have to be amazing. And because, dude, this guy, just to have sex, he's going to be more likely to be eaten by a lion. This guy, just to have sex, is going to spend, like, what, his entire life collecting blue things. This guy is going to give up his entire existence to become this parasitic testy on the side of his woman. We're going to bite off some penises. We're going to explode some testes. We're going to grow a penis that's like three, 30 times your body length, really. <laughs> I, I, something has to make it worth it. What is it? Well, let me tell you. I'm going to write it down for you. I'll tell you what it is. It's genetic diversity. Sex increases genetic diversity. Look back at independent assortment. Look back at crossing over. Think just about meiosis. Meiosis is a long, expensive process. Why do that? Why not just clone yourself? It's the genetic diversity. The genetic diversity is extremely beneficial. Sex is slow. I'm going to give you a little, this is a disadvantage of sex, obviously, but again, it points to why, I mean, the genetic diversity must be phenomenal because, listen to this, if you took 50, okay, so I'm going to draw you a picture of, these are cloning lizards. There are some critters that have foregone sex. They don't reproduce sexually or they choose, they decide, is this a good time to reproduce sexually or should we reproduce asexually? If we had a population of cloning lizards compared to a population of sexy lizards, my sexy lizards are having sex to make babies. My cloning lizards are um, just asexually reproducing themselves. And both of these little populations reproduced for 50 generations. So they basically did their thing for 50 generations. I am one generation producing however many babies I'm going to produce in a lizard population. And the cloning lizards, I always forget my numbers. Are you ready for this? Dude, if there were only 50 cloning lizards that reproduced for 50 generations, they produce more babies than one million sexy lizards. What? Did you understand what that was? You take 50 cloning lizards and you take one million sexually reproducing lizards, and at the end of 50 generations, the cloning lizards will have produced more babies. But all the babies are identical and they are less likely to survive because genetic diversity is seriously beneficial. Sex is slow, sex is expensive, but genetic diversity makes it worth it. It makes the penis that you have to bite off worth it. It makes it worth it to almost get eaten by a lion because you've got your hot feathers going on. Why is genetic diversity beneficial? Well, that's the next question, and this is where I'm going to take, okay, sex results in genetic diversity, and now we're going to look at what is, how is genetic diversity beneficial? And I'm sorry, but now I'm bringing in parasites. <laughs>